Hi guys, um, we're gonna go over the answers to the unit eight lesson one review on the sun. Here we go. Number one, uh, Earth's blank is the path it takes during its revolution. Earth's blank is the path it takes during its revolution. That would be its orbit, its orbit around the sun. Very good. How long does its orbit take? 365 and one fourth, right? One fourth days. Uh, number two, cause and effect lists the different effects caused by Earth's motion. All right, Earth's motion, a cause is the rotation. So if you think about Earth's rotation, what is the effect of Earth's rotation? Remember, Earth is rotating on its axis. This is the, the small spin that takes 24 hours. What's the cause of that? Day and night or a 24-hour day, okay? Uh, another cause, Earth being tilted on its axis. It's like what they say, 24 degrees, I think. 24 degree tilt, and, and what is the cause, or excuse me, that's the cause, what is the effect of that, of that tilt? Uh, the effect of that tilt is, of course, seasons, right? Uh, when you're tilted toward the sun, you're in summer. When you're tilted away from the sun, you're in winter. Uh, so that is the, the cause and effect. Uh, let's see here, number three, uh, how would Earth be different if its axis were, if its axis were not tilted? Um, just as we just said, that 24 degree tilt if it, if it wasn't tilted, it'd be straight up and down. It would probably be more like the weather around the equator. The weather around the equator hardly changes, right? It's pretty much uh, warm tropical year round. So season, a uh, basic answer would be that seasons would be different. Um, however, um, maybe more elaborate answer is that there wouldn't be as much variety in the seasons that it would, seasons would be pretty uniform, uh, like the equator would be the same year round. Uh, number four, when does the sun rise highest in the sky in the northern hemisphere? And that answer would be B, June, right? All right, number five, uh, which process takes Earth 24 hours to complete? What process takes Earth 24 hours to complete? And that would be A, a rotation. A revolution, that's 365 and one-fourth days. A rotation, that's roughly 24 hours, just about 24 hours. And then number six, it says, why does it seem that the sun is moving? Uh, this is called apparent motion. It seems like the sun is moving um, because Earth is rotating on its axis. The sun is not moving. We are moving. Uh, that's your answer to number six. Make sure you wrote in complete sentences. Uh, let's go over to answers uh, lesson two while I've got you here. Lesson two was on the moon. And hopefully we can get some good moon footage soon if the skies clear up. All right, number one, this is page 375. It says, during a blank, the moon shadow is cast onto the earth. During a solar eclipse, the moon's shadow is cast onto the earth. For those of you who remember the, the recent solar eclipse, that is when the moon's shadow is cast onto the earth. Pretty cool, right? Number two, you had to create a Venn diagram. Venn diagram is where you've got the two circles and they overlap. How are they different on the outside circles? That overlapping section in the middle, how are they similar? All right, so, or how are they alike? Let's see here. Uh, the question is, fill in the Venn diagram to show how Earth and the moon are both alike and different. Some of the differences, of course, you might have said that Earth has atmosphere, Earth has water, Earth has life, and um, life, both plant life, animal life, human life, right? Uh, the moon, there's no air. Uh, there's little water. Um, uh, there's craters, which uh, I guess Earth has some craters because uh, meteors uh, meters have, have hit Earth. But the moon is, is full of craters. And most obvious is that it's lifeless, right? Um, similarities is are that they both orbit the sun. And uh, they're both made of rock. Uh, number three, you see... Uh, a full moon in the night sky. Is there a new moon someplace else on Earth? Explain. And no, all places on Earth see the same moon phase on any given day. So moon phases do not differ um, based on if you're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. We're all experiencing the same moon phase. Number four says, what causes many of or many of the craters on the moon? And that would be meteoroids striking the moon, which is A. Uh, meteoroids cause the craters. And then finally, number five, what can we learn about the moon? Uh, what can we learn about the moon? Um, the moon rotates, uh, uh, excuse me, we can learn that the moon rotates once every 29 days. It revolves around the earth in about 29 days. 
and it reflects the sun's light. That's when you see that big, bright, beautiful full moon. It is reflecting light from the sun. The moon also plays a role in eclipse. It's covered with craters and rocks, and it does have mountains. So there's uh, a good bit of information that you could share with number five. Those are some possible possible answers. Um, most importantly, I, or most interestingly, I think that uh, the moon rotates once every 29 days and revolves uh, around the Earth in 29 days. So maybe the next 29 days, pay attention to the moon phases. It'd be uh, kind of an interesting, uh, you know, thing to track. Today for science, I want you to do lesson three, which is the solar system. There's an explore project at the beginning, and all you need are scissors, construction paper, a, a ruler, and a marker. And really, you don't even need a um, construction paper. You could use a different kind of paper. Um, but basically, you are going to um, kind of basically see, uh, kind of compare the diameters of, of, of three, excuse me, of four different planets three different planets plus the moon. It'll be interesting to kind of cut cut out these scales of, of uh, the three planets, which three, Earth, Mars, and Uranus, and then of the moon. And um, by, uh, in doing this, you're going to use fractions. So uh, Earth, the diameter is one. You could have that be one inch. If you want to be ambitious, you could do one foot. Uh, the moon is going to be one fourth the size of that, so one-fourth of an inch or one-fourth of a foot. Uh, Mars will be half, uh, half of whatever scale you come up with, and Uranus would be four. So you might, might not want to do feet because then Uranus would have to be four feet, uh, which you would probably uh, need to connect several pieces of paper. But anyway, um, that'll be a good, uh, good opportunity to kind of reinforce fractions as well. Don't forget that diameter, if you draw a circle, Diameter would be a line all the way across it. From the center to one edge would be a um, the radius, and then all the way across is the diameter. So um, have fun with this project. Read lesson three and do numbers one through five. All right? Sounds good. Thank you.